Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me for Technology Tip Thursday. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a heat map and how you can leverage that in your data visualization storytelling. Uh, quick definition of what a heat map is. Heat maps are graphical representations of data that utilize color-coded systems. The primary purpose of heat maps is to better visualize the volume of location events within a data set and assist in directing viewers towards an area on data visualizations that matter most. So basically, we're trying to draw your attention to a specific area. Let's say we're looking at a year and a month. We want to look at what our sales for that year and month is in our heat map. So let's actually dive into this and hop into Tableau. So if I go to Tableau, I have my sample Superstore data set. So I'll go ahead and bring in my year order date. And then I'll go ahead and bring in my month order date. And if I click on that, we see that is here. By default, I have the mark square. Um, it might be set to automatic, but you go ahead and make it a square. And then if I bring in my sum of sales on the color, we see now that I have a heat area of what I want you to focus on. So the lowest is 4,000, the highest is 118445. And we see the color is the heat map is calling out that information that we want. If we want to change the color, we can do that. Then you have the option to do that. Use your data to change the colors to what it is that you want to display. Um, but this is how you can quickly create a heat map in Tableau. If you actually want to show the data itself, you come in here and drag this and some of the cells, and then you have your actual information. So here's your heat map, and you're showing, you know, the highlight is 118, the highest value, the lowest value is 4520. So this is how you can create a heat map in Tableau. Let me show you how to do this in actual Power BI. So we're going to Power BI, we're connected to the exact same data set. Um, we will bring in our matrix visual. And if we come in here, we want to add our year column on here. We don't want to aggregate it, so it might yell at me. Okay, so we don't want to aggregate it. And then we're going to bring in our month column. So we're going to bring in just the number. And we're going to make this just the month number itself. So we're not going to aggregate it. Actually, I want to flip that around. I want my month to be up here and my year to be the column. So we'll do that. We have that information. So now we need to bring in a value. Let's go ahead and bring in our sum of sales information here. So now we have our visuals. Uh, we have the exact same information. So now let's go ahead and start cleaning it up. So if I come in here and select this paintbrush, we'll go to more options and then within more options, uh, let's move this over some so you can all can see it. So within more options, bring this over so you can see it. So within more options, actually, and then let's move my head so you can see what I'm doing. So within more options, we will go to a specific column. And actually, we're going to go to cell elements. And then we're going to do our background color. So our background color, we want to actually change. And we're going to use the value itself. If we want to change that, we're using our sum of cells. We want to change the color. We can do that and we can do this as well. We change that really quick. Uh, we don't like that. That's really gross. <laughs> so let's go ahead and change this back to something else. Uh, let's do let's just keep it blue for now so you can understand what's going on. So we do that and then let's go ahead for the sake of this. Let's remove our totals, move our totals. And then if we want to hide the font colors, we do the exact same thing. We would need to make sure we're using the exact same uh, color scheme that we have before. Okay. And then our colors go away. We expand it. And then now we have our heat map on here as well. So really quick way of creating a heat map in Tableau and Power BI to show different highlight areas um, that you want to show your users. So have you used a heat map before? Is this a technique? I feel like it's a very common thing, but I want to show how you do this in Tableau and Power BI. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you use heat maps. And otherwise, I'll talk to you all next Technology to Thursday. Have a great day.